Hey guys, and welcome to a mod preview for Divided Impera for Rome 2 Total War. Now obviously as quite a few different um, little um, Divided Impera uh, menu bits, which I didn't actually realise was uh, new actually. It's quite new, I've played this in a while, so it's quite new, I quite like it. It's got Hellenic, it's got Persian, it's got normal Divided Impera, it's got Celtic, it's got Punic, and Hellenic again. So yeah, it, it does look pretty cool. Now, it mainly affects the uh, many changes the campaign, the Grand Campaign, and the obviously new Macedonian Wars. So, um, now there are quite a new, quite a few different new facts. We'll cover the Macedonian Wars first, and uh, go from there. So, obviously, you have the Kingdom of Pergamon. You have the Roman Republic over there. Uh, the Kingdom of Macedon. And Rhodos as well. So if you want to play as you just as the Wrath of Sparta DLC, you just disable this mod, and you can play as the Wrath of Sparta. You can't play the Wrath of Sparta uh, with Divided Imperator. It's just because it's because the uh, Macedonian Wars overwrites that slot. Anyway, we're uh, go show this one off and uh, uh, see what this is like. I've seen I've seen some of this before, but uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Here we are, the campaign map. God, this map is tiny compared to uh, Troy Total War. <laughs> so obviously you have the fifth. Who starts off at war with um, most of Greece, <laughs> or most of um, not Greece, but um, over here, uh, Pergamon, you got the Roman Republic, always trying to interfere in politics, <laughs> and obviously you got Rhodos as well. You got the Potel um, holding, Potolomaic holdings is the right word. I should know that. I've been playing fucking Assassin's Creed Origins for a while. So <laughs> you have sort of like Byzant Byzantion. Uh, Zikios, uh, Kingdom of Pergamon, I just mentioned that. You've got the bit of Seleucid Empire as well. Got Sparta, of course. But yeah, these, this is quite a nice little area. If I was to play this, I'd probably, I probably either choose Macedon or maybe Pergamon, perhaps. Maybe even Rhodos, because they're a nice little island nation, or even Rome. But uh, we'll see. Uh, Rome sort of has to interfere in everything. No, no, fucking bastards. Go, go away! Be gone! <laughs> go, go, back to, go back to Italy, you little shits. Get out of here. <laughs> but anyway, uh, have a look at the little map. Uh, obviously, it's sort of... I forgot how weird this is. I like turn around to be in the right area. <laughs> so obviously, you've got a bit of Greece up here. You've got the Roman pricks are taking over. I think it's, it's mine because I'm Rome. Ha! An imperator. Shut up. <laughs> Go to hell, you little shits. <laughs> obviously, got Sparta down here. Olympia as well. There's Mount Olympia, Olympia up there as well. Very nice. Ah, I forget how nice looking the Rome 2 map is. It's quite, it's still quite nice compared to Attila. Attila is probably a lot nicer looking, but this is still pretty good. So like it. We got Crate down here, Crete or Crate. I hope it keep getting that mixed up. Crete or Crate or what the fuck? Arachne and that sort solves our problem. <laughs> got to lose them by over here. Got up here. very nice. It's quite a nice little map. I forget how nice this map is. Quite nice. Troy Turtle War is obviously massive in comparison. Obviously, you would have had Troy right here. But, uh, obviously, Troy at this time, I think uh, it's 300 BC something, Troy was destroyed. So, obviously, in this time period, Troy's been sort of, you know. Uh, it wasn't too long I was ago. I was in my little fortress at Paris of Troy uh, down here. <laughs> And then invading this and having a big siege battle here that I still haven't yet recorded. <laughs> By the time you're watching this, I would have done it. Um, but yeah, I got Mirania and my invasion of uh, um, Greece as well going on. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it for this campaign. They show the grand campaign and all the new factions. I'll probably mention the new ones, but um, I'll mention the old ones because I can't because I haven't played many, I haven't played Rome two in ages. And uh, if we do a series on this, it will probably be either one of the island nations, maybe uh, Macedon or something, we'll see. Anyway, let's go on to the Rome 2 Grand Campaign. Alright guys, here we are. Now, Rome's mostly the same. Uh, Carthage is the same, pretty much. Yep. Different dynasties. Uh, Dacia is pretty, I'm pretty sure that's there. Uh, you got the Cachatrias, they're all the same, okay, they're the exact same fashion. <laughs> uh, you got Macedon there. We've got the Seleucid Empire, Bactria, the Patel uh, Ptolemaic Dynasty. Which I don't even know. If it's, I don't think that's even historically accurate. That okay, whatever. <laughs> you have the Gauls, the Scordisci, 
the bow, the boy, I think, the nervi, the uh, Koinon Galaton over in Turkey, or Anatolia, I should say. You've got the Arveni, and you got some more British nation, uh, Britannia nations. You've got the Iceni, of course. You've got the Caledoni, which is based at the Scots. I'm sure Hazard would be pleased about that. <laughs> and you got the Irish as well over there. We got the Etatani, the Arabachi, the Luso Tarnan, got the Ap Ap what the hell? Apokikai Ton Helenon, which is Massilia. We got Syracuse as well. We got Cartley. We got Parthia. We got Hike. The Atropocaton. And you got Pontus as well. Pontus as well. You got the uh, Germani factions. You got the Lugos. You got the Sweb uh, Swebos or Swebians, I believe. The Kimbros, which is Denmark. This is like the early, probably the early Vikings, which is quite cool. You got Rhodes as well. I think if I did a series, it would probably be either as the early, like Vikings, or as I could do Missilia. Or I kind of want to do Parthia and invade. So I mean, it's quite a hard challenge. So once you get a good grip, I imagine you wipe out everyone but uh yeah we're um but obviously show us off as rome seems a decent thing to do and i must admit the loading screen for this is very long i will warn you guys uh, you might be sat on the loading screen for quite some time okay guys here we are at the divide in para now a lot not a lot has changed as you can see visually the map is the same i don't think they could change the map because the whole world building is just is impossible um because of creative assemblies in it <laughs> we're uh we're uh make people uh, people love mods and uh people mostly people tend to buy maybe uh, total war for mods and um, but we are restrict the mods <laughs> because that way more people would join the yeah i don't know what the hell they were thinking <laughs> so obviously um rome is how it normally is rome <laughs> rome is red always will be um well it's not entirely true uh i I believe they have a family tree that did. I don't know if it's um in the base game. I'm picking this. I remember the uh, when Rome 2 came out, I had no family tree. But well, obviously, there's a family tree here. Got the Rufus family, uh, different politics and all sorts. The plebs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, most of um most of it's very similar to the campaign. Obviously, you've got addition of new factions, but a lot of the changes for divided empire of uh, diplomacy screen is different. A lot of it, I think they changed the banners, the troops are very different, there's more buildings, there's, there's tons of stuff. And it makes and this game, it makes the uh, Rome just a hell of a lot better. Uh, not too many changes here, but a lot of changes here. Uh, I think it's the units that have mainly changed. We hunger for battle. Yeah, you've got the Triary and the main early troops. And higher mercenaries that look pretty damn good. And you can't look okay, you can recruit the peasants <laughs> but uh, eventually you can build up a big big armies i imagine uh later on uh big night a lot of uh, unique units i think as well anyway there's not too much i can really talk about um <laughs> you have to really try it yourself really there's not too much i can show via the campaign because i can't go topple foe and show everything unlike uh which uh which i will if i could but uh unfortunately i can't because uh, Creative Assembly has also uh, stopped you from being able to use a cheat menu, which is a pain in the ass when you're trying to do mod previews, because you can't, you have to go on each individual faction to show everything, which is a pain in the ass, and you can't, yeah, you know. Anyway, I still like, the Rome 2 is a lot better now of all the patches, and uh, it's, by 2020, it's a decent game. God, I can't believe I said something decent next to the word, next to the numbers 2020. Yeah. God, times have truly changed. <laughs> anyway guys i thank you for watching this preview i hope you give a uh, divided empire a go it is very uh, very it's a de very good mod and i love it and uh, definitely makes rome 2 more bearable um anyway thank you for watching and i will see you later